A lot of hardware news to cover for these past few days, most of it surrounding NVIDIA GeForce graphics cards, some of the leaks and rumors may have some of you excited, and some of it may be a bit disappointing. Let's discuss that in this video. Hey, if you enjoy content like this, drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and smash that bell so you never miss another video. Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here, welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. So over the past few weeks, we've been discussing the rumors surrounding the probable RTX 40 Super Series. These GPUs are rumored to be released at CES 2024. Nothing is confirmed, but all signs point towards a reveal happening here as what was confirmed by Nvidia is that they'll be holding a special GeForce address. So expect quite a bit of information to come out surrounding consumer products, GeForce software, etc. When Nvidia holds events like these, what I actually find myself more interested in is what kind of new software features Nvidia is going to be rolling out. In this space, they're just way ahead of their competitors, and when they actually come out with some of these really cool features, it really makes the space a lot more interesting rather than just talking about XFPS in this game. Now, I have made a video recently talking about the rumored specs of the RTX 4080 Super, 4070 Ti Super, and the 4070 Super, so I'm not going to be covering that here. Feel free to check that video out for more info. Video Cards posted an article on their site late last week sourcing a website called board channels and they came out with a statement that said nvidia has stopped mass production of the rtx 4080 and the rtx 4070 ti now if you've been following the news and rumors lately then the first thing that probably popped up in your head is the rtx 40 super series this could make sense if nvidia does indeed plan on bringing these cards to market they're just going to be clearing out inventory right now for the existing models and then once january hits with ces 2024 the new models will be on the shelves now i find it interesting that they don't mention anything about the RTX 4070, which if you recall, there was a 4070 super part of the lineup that we discussed previously. Video Cards did also mention that before you jump into conclusions, Nvidia has done this kind of stuff in the past where they have halted production on current products and then ramped up production afterwards based on market needs. But I personally think the timing here just can't be pure, you know, coincidence. They did also post another updated article on the 19th sourcing the same site, who are now stating they've gotten info from various AIBs who said that there is very low supply of the RTX 4080s and 4070s. TIs, and by November and December, supply should basically be depleted for the retail sector. They said that some supply will still remain in inventory, but most of this will be allocated for RMAs or replacements. Now, at the time of making this video, I did check for listings at Newegg.com and found that they had plenty of 4080s and 4070 TIs in stock, but not only that, so I saw some models which were listed for below MSRP. Remember, the RTX 4080 wasn't received that well, and neither was the RTX 4070 Ti for that matter. With the former, the problem was the price was just too high. With an X80 class, sure, you'd expect a hefty price tag, but one that's still sensible for the high-end segment. But that hike over the 3080's price was just astronomical. With the RTX 4070 Ti, this is the GPU that the 4070 should have been in the first place, and on top of that, at $800, it really should have come with 16 gigabytes of VRAM minimum. But hey, with the RTX 40 Super Series, that's all going to be fixed and we'll finally get the cards we've been expecting at the right price points, right? Well, we'll just have to wait and find out for that one. CES is just around the corner, so it'll be interesting what Nvidia decides to do. Like I said before, this attempt is really just to revitalize the market and get the media and community talking about them again. What I'm most interested in is the RTX 4070 Super. As judging from the specs, it'll have the biggest substantial leap over the original model as a compared to a 4070 Ti Super or the RTX 4080 Super which looks very minor. What I'm really concerned about is this info from board channels because there was no mention of an RTX 4070 and if Nvidia was planning on bringing the 4070 Super to market then you'd expect AIBs to be saying the same thing about the original model with low stock. But speaking of low stock, have any of you guys been looking at RTX 4090s lately. This was something else we talked about recently on the channel, but if you hadn't been on the loop, basically due to a ban in China and other various countries in Asia for the 4090, this has caused demand to go up dramatically, and thus we saw an uptrend in pricing. Now at that time, there were still a number of RTX 4090s still in stock, but if you were to go on a website like Newegg and search for a model, there's only one that comes up and many of the models have been delisted. There's no Gaming X Trio model from MSI, some Aorus models aren't 
went there. I looked at a place like Canada Computers, who are our largest retailer in Canada, and found that the situation is also the same. Prices have gone up, there's barely any stock available for existing models. And for the models that do come up in stock, it's because they haven't been completely sold out. There's still one lingering somewhere in some store, but you can basically consider this sold out. It's basically as bad as the time when the 4090 came out initially. It was pretty hard to find, but then as demand went down, you could find them in stock and sometimes even below MSRP. Unfortunately for all of you who are banking on this holiday season to pick up an RTX 4090 on a cheap deal, well unfortunately it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Not only will you have trouble finding it, but you're also going to be paying above MSRP now. This isn't surprising to hear though, this whole China ban had been lingering since the summer, so if you really wanted one, should have gotten one before. Nvidia's official Chinese website has also removed the graphics card from their list of products. They apparently still have it listed on the retail platform, but it's being sold at a much higher price, way above MSRP. So this is going to have some interesting ramifications on the GPU market. Well, for starters, those who want RTX 4090 level of performance are going to have one hell of a time trying to find one, or they'll have to go for the next best thing, which is the RTX 4080 or 4080 Super. Maybe an RX 7900 XTX could be a viable option, but for many who were buying Nvidia, it's because they wanted everything else that comes along with buying an NVIDIA GPU. Also, this could lead into what NVIDIA will price the next-gen flagship at as well. We saw what impact the crypto mining boom's pricing had on the RTX 40 series. Sure, one could argue this was the direction we were always headed in, but there was always that catalyst which solidified the price for them. Don't be surprised if the 5090 has an MSRP of $25.99 or even higher. Since we're on the subject of the RTX 5090, we've also got a few rumors surrounding it more specifically pertaining to the specifications of GB202, which is the largest consumer die based on NVIDIA's Blackwell architecture. I find talking about specifications premature right now, we're still quite a ways away from the 50 series. This info comes from Copite, who we all know at this point has always been at the forefront when it comes to NVIDIA hardware rumors and leaks. Now the info here is pretty basic, a lot of it is just a given, like how the RTX 50 series will have DisplayPort 2.1, PCIe 5.0, I'll have the video cards already for this as well in the video description if you want to read more about it. But the three main things here are that GB202 will be using TSMC's 3 nanometer, will use GDDR7, and have a 384-bit bus, which is contrary to the Previous rumors we had heard suggesting that NVIDIA would be bringing back the 512-bit bus for the 5090. As for the information presented here, absolutely nothing surprising. I've talked about the possibility of G7 on the channel before, along with which node they'll be utilizing. It's all obvious speculation at this point, anyone who's been following the industry for a while could have told you this. Now we'll touch upon this topic again in the future as we get more info, and have a discussion surrounding where performance will land. As that's all the time I have for this one, I do have some cool test videos coming up in the future so definitely stay tuned for that. If you guys found this video to be informative and entertaining, then leave a like. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Be sure to check out the video description for cool links and ways to support the channel, such as using my Amazon affiliate link. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, then consider subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.